Hey, what up guys and gals, Holmes here, and welcome back to Dark Souls, alright? Yeah, last time we left off at destroying the Iron Golem. Now, we're gonna be heading to An Orlando, alright? So, all we have to do is interact with this ring, and let's do it. No, well, well, well. All right, and Orlando. All right, so if you guys want wish to go back to Lordran, uh, I, I think this is still Lordran. I don't know, but if you guys wish to go back to Fire Link, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Just had lunch, so my bad. Uh, anyways, yeah, if you guys wish to go back to Fire Link area, you know, like back to Sense Fortress. Talk to this guy, right? Talk to this weird looking guy. And he'll send you back to where the ring is. So that's that. That's how you get back. In case if you guys are wondering, if you guys don't want to be here or if you guys want to do something before interacting with this place, that's what you can do. Right? Now these guys they're not statues, these are these are bad guys. You know, you can just walk past them, you know, they won't hit you. If you stand too close, it's gonna start attacking you. So it's kind of a bitch. You can block all their attack, but it does. It takes away a lot, a lot of stamina when you block it. And best time to do attacks is like if you guys don't feel comfortable getting up close while it's moving around. Best time to do an attack is after it slams its shield down. And what you can do is you can just go behind them and you know. Just stab him. I'm gonna stab him to death. Now right here we're gonna cheese one of the one of the knights. If you go over there, the other one's gonna start whacking you too. So we don't want that happening. <laughs> no, we do not. So we're trying to get back. Okay. No, don't jump back. Come over here. Try. Right. Okay. Kind of behind him now. I bet you just jump away like that. Slam your shield down, come on. That's right. And I'll just stab the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, you, if he's like blocking like that and if you hit his shield, he will not take damage. Just so you guys know. So yeah, the shield does work even though it seems like your attacks are still hitting him. Like you don't, your attack won't bounce off for some reason when he guards, but it, he won't take damage. <laughs> but your attack won't bounce off just to fool you that, like, he's trying to fool you to thinking that you are doing damage. See, it doesn't bounce off, but you don't do damage to him. Does it take take damage? I hope I said do damage. Ow. Okay, he got me there. Alright, come here, you little fuck. Oh, wait! <laughs> that was close. Yeah, stupid shield. It's really annoying because that shit is huge. That's what she said. Alright, alright, enough of that joke. Alright, trying to. There we go. And there's a couple more knights over there, and then we can get a cool little upgrade item. 
that we're gonna need later. Now it's faced inwards, so this is not a mimic. Had to make sure, you know. <laughs> Demon Titanite, yeah, that's what we need. We need a total of seven, because one upgrade takes one, two, and then two, I believe, for the third or fourth upgrade. Yeah, I think it's fourth upgrade takes two. And that'll be four, and then the third upgrade will take three, so that's seven. So yeah, we we'll need seven of them to fully upgrade a boss weapon if you guys want to. All right, you guys don't have to get this we boss weapon. You don't have to, but I just like it. Let's repair our equipment first. All right, uh, maybe level up a bit. I'm just pouring everything in endurance. <laughs> uh, here's another firekeeper, right? Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor London, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Grimm's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Is that right? So. You can reinforce your essence flask. Ooh, that's new. Because before you couldn't do it before the patch. Now you can. That's pretty cool. Yeah, before you couldn't do this. And if you attack her, you know, he, she's the fire keeper. If you attack her, then the fire goes out. Because well, I don't think if you kill, if you don't kill her, the fire might not go out. But she's going to be attacking you, so there's no way you can rest in the bonfire. So don't attack her. Because if you do attack her, end up killing her, and if you somehow die during the process of this run, you're going to end up all the way back in Sense Fortress. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty, because you're going to end up in the bonfire over there, and then you're going to do it all the freaking traveling back, you know. you got to interact with the rings and shit. So, make sure you guys don't hit her. I've seen a couple of videos where guys just like lay down the controller and accidentally whack the firekeeper. Alright, trying to get behind this guy here. Trying to circle around. I heard in Dark Souls 2, th this tactic will not work. They made the enemies like a lot smarter. If you're trying to do this tactic, <laughs> they're gonna kick your butt. No, they, they'll like, make you think that you can backstab them, and then they'll like, just like, you know, they'll lie down on you. They'll drop out of nowhere, and then you're gonna take massive fucking damage. That's why I heard from Dark Souls 2. I mean, I have played the beta of Dark Souls 2, but I haven't encountered anything like that during the beta. It was mostly regular enemies, but they they are a bit smarter, you know. You can't, like, backstabs are not as easy to get to as in Dark Souls. Shit. And parrying, parrying in Dark Souls 2. It's kind of it's kind of different in this game. You parry and then you do the attack button, you initiate the attack and your character will do the parry itself but in Dark Souls 2 your character knocks the enemy on its ass and I don't know how you initiate the, um, the repulse because I have never done it before I have parried, never repulsed because I was so confused, I'm like how do you, how do you repulse because the enemy just sits on its ass after you parry him and I can't figure out how the repulse work I did a couple of PVPs and one of the um, one of the guys that fought and ended up repulsing me. I was so impressed with him. The animation looked so good. <laughs> yeah, I was just like poking him, you know, with a spear, and then he repulsed my ass. So that one's a mimic. You can ch you can tell by the chain. See, it's facing out, like outwards, and this one's facing inwards. The ones that are facing inwards, it's not mimics. One that is facing outwards, they are mimics, right? So if you guys don't want to fight this mimic, uh, I think I should fight this mimic. I haven't fought one during my run yet, so I'm just gonna fight one just to show you guys how it looks like. It's not it, right? That's it. You know, it has legs and it has arms. It's it's pretty incredible. It has a long ass tongue, and it knows some martial arts. It kicks you. It tries to hit you it also grabs you 
Oh shit. Like that. <laughs> oh, that was close. Nope. Yeah, if you get grabbed, you're pretty much screwed. Nice, stupid thing with teeth. Yeah, if you guys don't want to deal with this guy, you can just throw, throw um, a Roy's talisman. You know, if you throw it at him and he'll just open up his mouth like what we did and sends fortunes. That's how we acquired this weapon, alright? The lightning spear. Now, there is one more knight out there, but we're not going to bother with him. Because there is nothing really over there unless you defeat the boss in this area and place down the... Um, uh... I don't know what you guys call I I can't remember what you call it, but it's... It's something with lords, but yeah, it's an item we can get right after defeating the boss and we talk to the NPC that's behind the boss gate. She'll give us that item. I can't remember what it's called. Nah, hopefully I remember it during, ah, during the run. <laughs> yeah, I really hope I remember it. It's gonna bother me if I don't. Now when you come out here, there's a guy Goyle, alright? This gargoyle, it's kind of different. It has lightning. So, yeah. I don't know if I should be using this. I don't think it makes any differences. I mean, you might do a bit less damage, you know. But it has lightning attributes, so be careful. Oh, and you can cut off the tail, so. If you guys want the tail, if you guys missed it, the spear. Back in the bell gargoyle fight in the church, where the first bell is. If you guys want the tail, you guys can cut off this guy's tail. If you guys have, uh, if you use a Drake sword or something, you can probably cut off this guy's tail. Oh shit. Oh, or you can just poke it off with a fucking spear, no problem, right? Ow. Enough of that shit. Oh, and it sends down lightning too. Oh crap, he got me. <laughs> he fucking got me. He's getting too overconfident over there. There you guys go. <laughs> well, there you guys go. One death from Holmes. Oh, actually, I died a few times, but I just cut it out. I'm just gonna leave this one in for the amusements. Alright, no more fucking up this time, fucking going over, man. Alright, serious. We're serious. No more no more fucking dying over here. Stupid guy girl. Making me look bad. Where's my elevator? This elevator is automatic, alright? So you don't have to pull anything. It just goes up and down by itself. Uh yeah, there's nothing There's nothing you can do about it. If you guys want to come back up, you gotta wait for the elevator to come back down. Alright, Gargoyle, round two, let's go, motherfucker. Alright. Shoot an arrow at him, it hits. It's good luck. I'm just kidding. I made that good luck part up myself. That's the first time it breathed. Oh hell no! Yeah, it's, it's, that was the first time it ever shot lightning down on me, so it kind of caught me off guard. Uh, usually I kill it before um it can do any of that crap. There we go. That was it. Did it drop? All right. Sometimes it drops his helmet. I don't know that. I don't think I got his helmet yet, but sometimes it drops its helmet. All right. I wish they have like a secret boss somewhere that you can get like all the rare items or armors because in Dark Souls there's a trophy for getting all the rare armor and stuff. Wait, rare weapon. Yeah. Alright, uh, here is another Demon Titanite. And that is it for this little area, alright? So we gotta go into a little painting area. Um, in there. We're gonna go around, come out from that side. That's a bridge right there. And then we're gonna turn a bridge. We're gonna go inside the tower. Well, not the tower, but the castle thing. 
and after we turn the bridge, there's gonna be another gargoyle. So maybe that guy will drop a helmet. Well, let's hope he does. All right, right here you wanna j jump. All right, run and jump towards the right. All right, you can try to roll, but sometimes you might miss and your character might land on this, on this railing here and. It's kind of luck. Sometimes he'll slide in, or sometimes he'll slide out. And if he slides out, you're gonna slide all the way. Fuck, you're gonna slide all the way down, and then you're gonna die. <laughs> and don't worry, that gargoyle will not respawn if you guys fuck this part up. All right, so uh, it's not a problem. You guys can just run back down here if you guys end up messing up that part, because I have messed it up before. Now here's one of the assassins want to beat that will jump down from the top. There's gonna be another one. These guys will throw throwing knives at you. So be careful. I don't think they cost you to bleed. At least I don't think they do. And these guys can parry you, so be careful. All right, and they can backstab you. So <laughs> you guys want to be might want to be a bit more cautious around these guys. Now we're gonna climb up this ladder. All right, and there's like a. Uh, couple more guys up here you guys don't want to take them on all right try to make them jump off you can make them suicide like kill kill himself if you manage poor headshot he might fall off I think this is where the throwing knives comes in handy because it starts pushing you uh, if you get hit by it yeah see and if you stand the right distance, you will end up jump. Um, they will end up falling off. Oh shit! This guy's doing his kung fu over here. I believe you gotta stand like around right here, and then he he will try to like attack and he'll jump off. All right, let's see if we can make that happen. It works. I know it does, cause I've done it before. Make sure you guys don't walk off here. Again, we want to be really careful, right? Don't run. Just, just walk. Tilt your joystick forward really gently. Really gently. Be really gentle with the joystick. Because it brings joy. Alright. Making our way there. Now I can hit the chandelier. And it'll fall. And then you can get whatever that pickup is on the chandelier. It's it's a magic spell. I think it's like great magic or something. Something like that. Trying to cheese this guy. There we go. <laughs> if you manage to pull a headshot, he'll fall down and die. Now that guy, you cannot make him fall because he's right next to a wall. So what you can do is bait him over here, you know. No, at least I'm gonna attempt to bait him over here. Come here, jerk. No, no, no. Oh, come on. There we go. So, I'm gonna make him jump off. See? <laughs> they try to roll towards you, and they'll end up jumping off if you just stand right near, like, right where these little. I don't know what they're called. I'm pretty sure there's a word for it that I can't remember. I can't remember shit today. You just stand right here and then they'll end up jumping off. <gasps> oh, that was close. I don't know if you, <laughs> well, I, you guys probably couldn't see it, but what I did is I accidentally flicked the joystick. So I thought I was going to like fly off. But we're going to walk really careful along and maybe jog a bit and slow down on the cornering. Uh. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> that was freaking hate platforming shit. Now there is a treasure. Where the hell is it? Ah, that treasure over there, right? That treasure over there. The only way to get it is if you roll down here, go on that little walkway there. I don't really want to go because. Getting back is kind of a bitch. Because you gotta roll in between those pillars. And I really suck at platforming. So I don't want to redo this part over again. There is, a, there is a stairway right below you though. 
But I believe there's a guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just show you guys how you can do it, but I don't. <laughs> I'm not planning on doing it. But it works! I've done it before, just trust me. Alright, see that thing right there? When you roll down from the top, alright, you can get to the other side, so it's like from that side you roll down over here, and then there's a there's a stairway over there on the other side too, and you can lead up to the treasure. And you can grab the treasure, you know, re rent and repeat, and roll down on that, you know, this platform again, and then roll back in here, and then to get back up, right, without dying. So that's that. Uh, I would recommend you guys do this later. <laughs> Unless you guys want to get through that little part again. I suggest you don't do it right now. Just in case if you fuck up, but if you guys really want to do it, then go for it. Alright, so interact with this. And the bridge will go down. Now be careful, be ready, alright, because the gargoyle is going to start attacking you. You can't see it, but it's there. It's right there. Hello. You looking for somebody? Damn it. Oh my god. That's taking a sweet ass fucking time just to get over here. God damn it. Why am I shooting it with arrows? For fun. I'm gonna attempt to swing around. Or he can just fly around. Bitch. Hmm. I was kinda hoping he would fall down like that. The drop attacks are always, always so delicious because they do so much damage. Uh, unless he swings his fucking tail like that. Run away when he does that electric shit. You guys saw what happened in the beginning of the video. that thing hit me. I thought I was forced to like a ledge or something that's why I, I stopped rolling I was getting kind of worried what do you freaking die do me a favor and die thank you yeah oh so this one drops <laughs> everything holy crap it gave us the gargoyle helper, the gargoyle shield, and the gargoyle helmet. That is, that's really something. I, I can't really remember if he drops all that 100% or was that just luck. Because I can't really remember. Alright, up there there's going to be two more of those big guards that we fought downstairs. But these ones are kind of special. <laughs> uh, they're kind of different. Or maybe they're the same. I, I don't remember them wearing something else. All right. Oh, the ones inside are the different ones. All right. Inside the castle, there's more, more of these guys. But these guys have like those guys have like blue ropes and stuff. Hey, guy! <laughs> I'm freaking impaling arrows in your freaking head. Actually, I don't really want to take him on like that. Yeah, I want to trigger him. That's what I was hoping. Oh, that was a mistake. No, 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 no. Don't push me up. Shit, I might interact with the other one. There is another one. That's why I don't really want to fight them up there. Because there's two. You guys can speed run past these guys. It's kind of a... It's kind of a gamble, though, because... When you speed run past these guys... Those guys that brought you here to Anorondo, they will attack you, right? These guys. I thought I heard something fall. I thought one of the, the other big dudes were coming after me. But yeah, these guys will attack you. You can run past them. 
right? Go over there and then go down there. But there's there's like around two, two more up, down, two or three down there. So I want to be careful. And there's one hiding on the side over there. So there's a total of three here. You can only see two, but then the other one's hiding. So you can speed run past, but these guys will chuck their spear at you if you're not careful, right? So it's kind of a it's kind of a risky move, but if you guys really want to go for it, then it's not like I can stop you. And who knows? It might be easier. Usually that's how I get through this fight. When I play for for myself, I just speed run past this part like that. Damn it! My timings are off. Uh oh. Would you do this shield slam, please? Yeah, this is why I don't want to risk it on the first move because sometimes he gets back around. Uh oh, what? No! <laughs> oh my god, that that was that was stupid right there. I was hoping I would hit him before that attack landed. Now he's down. Down to four S's flask. Alright, there's a total of three guys over here, right? There's one more there's one more of those guys hiding right there. Yeah, freaking sneaky bastard. What you can do is cheese him. He will come up. When you cheese the other guy, I believe you, you can knock him off like that. Okay. Bwong. Takes two hit to make him stagger. These guys are kind of a bitch because they have electric weapon. Because they their weapon is like electricity. So there's no way our, sh our shield can block 100% of that. This is the fire shield. I don't know if we have a weapon that has high lightning resistance. I guess the... Ooh. I don't have the strength for that though. Yeah, either way you're gonna take some damage because if you have a high lightning resistance shield, uh, the physical damp the physical reduction is not 100%. 45, 45, 70. Yeah, 46. Maybe this won't be a bit better. Uh, okay, that one has a bit higher. Okay, this one's good too. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try this one for now. Whatever. Yeah, they chuck their spear at you like that. That's what I was talking about. The spear chucking move that they do. Now, the last guy you cannot cheese. <laughs> Unless he jumps off by himself, you know. Anything else you can really do about that. Or you can poke them off. See ya! You would think they can fly with those wings since they carry your ass over here from Sense Fortress to Anolando, but... Nope. None of that bullshit. Alright, let's just try to bait these guys out. Come on out, boys. Oh shit. Camera fucked up on me. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to, trying to lock onto him. Freaking camera. The other guy was will just jump off like that, so you don't have to worry about him. All you have to worry about is this guy right here. Don't do anything reckless, you know. Just take a few hits in. Because I want to avoid as much... As much... Shit they throw at us as possible, because these guys... They they hurt. <laughs> they hurt. Poke. Back off. 
crap. Oh, he's still alive, what the hell? Oh. There we go, he's done. Oh crap. Now that's part you wanna be really careful here because there is gonna be a couple of knights shooting great arrows at you, right? You can block them, you can. It's a hundred percent physical well, it's only physical attack, so you can block without taking damage. The thing about blocking their arrows is it sends you sliding backwards like a lot. So if you're trying to block block their uh, their arrows on like a tight area, you're probably gonna slide off the edge. All right, so you're gonna you really wanna be careful about blocking their attacks. So what we're gonna do is speed run through them. This is the only way. So they're gonna start shooting arrows at you. Alright now, right here, wait. Wait for him to shoot. Wait for him to shoot again. And the arrow lands, we run. Or jog. And then run. Boom! Alright, due to random phone call and the ringtone got caught in the recording. Just to avoid copyright, I'm gonna have to do this part dubbed all right so this is a dubbed commentary right now because yeah i got a phone call during this part of dark souls and it, the ringtone got caught in the recording so i want to avoid copyright and yeah just do this part in dubbed commentary that's why my character stopped for a bit so yeah just so you guys know what was going on here why i was just chilling here all right so resuming back to live commentary Alright, sorry about that. There was like a phone call during a Dark Souls fight. Are you killing me? What the hell? Yeah, I got a phone call right when I got to that point. Uh, I'm gonna have to edit that part out. <laughs> what the freak? Yeah, that's why I was... Stupid shit happened, yeah. Probably should have mute my phone when I record. Yeah, like, right when I got off the ledge, there's a freaking phone call. Whatever. Cross! Yeah. Blah. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. After you defeat the the Silver Knight up there, right? You can, well, you can attack him regularly, but it's kind of be it's gonna be kind of hard. So you want to do is parry him. If you can't, if you guys can't parry him, then just block his attack, you know, and then attack, block his attack, and then attack. Back off a bit when you guys need to re regenerate your stamina, and then block attack back off it's like that all right that's the way to take him out if you guys don't think you guys can parry him but if you guys can parry him then just parry him all right they're kind of their movements are like the black knights so yeah the only thing they haven't they're different from the black knight is that they use bows giant bows so that's that um yeah, after that, I can just run down here, you know, across the small gate. There's nothing in the small gate. Well, there's something, but we won't have to interact with them. But what we can do is we can rest at the bonfire here. And there is. Solar is there. Alright, level up here. Now, max endurance is 40, right? After 40, after we cross 40, we won't get anything... Like, we won't get any more stamina, so... Uh... Yeah, if you guys are thinking maybe you guys can make it like, max 99, don't do it, because the scaling only stops at 40, so... No point of going any higher. And what I want to do is, do I have enough Titanite Shards? No, I do not. Probably should have bought some. Yeah, we're gonna need that to create the boss weapon. Oh, maybe the blacksmith over here will sell it. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Alright, we can talk to Soul there some more here. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I think you have feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. 
Ah, <laughs> okay, whatever. No, no feelings here. Okay, whatever. All right, so that's all there with his little jokes. <laughs> and in this door, there is another silver knight. It's right there. He has a freaking spear. He's guarding that chest over there. Let's go check out what this chest is after we take out this fella over here. Trying to get a, another backstab. I don't believe these guys can heal. Oh, he's down. Sounds like you're flushing a toilet after you kill him. Alright, so the sunlight metal. There's a lot of metals here. So, yeah, there's a lot of treasure blocks with metals and shit. So, it's not really a lot of, like, sweet pickups, you know. It's pretty much metals. And some are used for just selling them, you know. Sunlight metals, you can use them to upgrade your sunlight covenant. But you guys can can also gain sunlight metals from helping people out through their journey. If you guys defeat the boss in that area with the human alive, then you guys will attain one sunlight metal. All right, so you guys gotta probably have to do that like a twenty something times in order to get like twenty something. Well, yeah, you have to. You only get one each, so you have to do it twenty something times to get one. And I believe when you get twenty, you can upgrade your covenant by one or something like that. Can't really remember, but that's how it was. I believe that's how it is still. Now down here, there's gonna be a mimic, and this is the part where we can get our habo set too. So I don't want to deal with the mimic. Let's put on your Roy's talisman. Where is the mimic? All right, the chain that's facing outward, the odd one right here. Throw a Roy's talisman, and he'll open up his mouth. Cough up the shiny. Thank you. And after that, I don't have to worry about him. Just grab your pickups. Dragon Tooth. Alright, so that's the weapon that Havel was using. Havel's Great Shield. That's what we got here. Havel's Armor. What's this? <laughs> More Havel's Armor. Alright, so we got Havel set now. Alright, so if you guys are interested in that set, that's where you get it. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend it because it takes up a lot of durability. Not, yeah, not durability, endurance. So you guys might be a bit slower when you guys do that, right? It'll slow down your movements because you're heavy. And you cannot use the ninja flip ring because it's gonna be really heavy. Before the patch, like I explained before in one of my videos back, people were like, put on Havel's ring and then the ninja flip ring, the dark wood green ring, and you can see like bringing people flipping around on Havel's armor. It's, it gets pretty ridiculous because they have. All right, so <laughs> I ended up getting my ass whooped a bit, and now I'm just like doing the voiceover of the clip that I am gonna be <laughs> filling in, because yeah, when I went in here to face the silver knight, I got overconfident and ended up dying, and I didn't really want to show me dying. A lot. I mean, I do die, so don't think I don't. But yeah, and then I'm getting my ass whooped in here, and I found out that you need a plus ten curved sword in order to make the boss weapon, right? So if you guys are trying to make that boss weapon, I suggest you guys go back to to Andre and reinforce your curved sword into plus. 10. Alright, so once you get to plus 10 and when you get to the blacksmith, you can just, you know, forge your forge your sword without having to go back and forth. I made a mistake. Yeah, I know in the beginning I said that um probably need plus 5. No, it's a plus 10, so yeah, I kind of screwed that part up. As you guys will see towards the end of the video, I will look like a fool having to travel back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have to throw all the clips in together and stuff. And down there, there's a Titanite Demon. You can choose to take out that Titanite Demon. Um, 
but I wouldn't recommend you guys taking that guy out just yet. Uh, not until you get the boss weapon, because the, the boss weapon has fire, uh, fire ability itself. So, when you use the boss weapon, when you attack enemies, they will be set on fire. Well, not really on fire, but they'll take fire damage, right? So, that's that. That's going to be really useful, because the Titanite Demon is weak against fire. He's not weak against, he's not weak against lightning. I mean... <laughs> The guy uses lightning himself, so I'm pretty sure that doesn't get that isn't gonna affect him much. So yeah, and I'll show you guys how to take him out later. It will be in this video, so don't worry about it. It will be in this video, right? So right here is gonna be two mimics, one right here. They only cough up like pendants, you know, well coins. This guy gives up silver coins. I don't think silver coins does anything. The other guy gives up a golden coin, and I don't think that does anything either. Maybe you can trade it in with Snuggly. I am not sure. I don't do a lot of trading in this game, so. <laughs> and this guy gives up. Oh, he gives up his. The symbol of Aberine. Aberine. Aberins. Rice. Whatever. And gives up a golden coin. Now, that. The helmet thing that he gives up, it's pretty. It's pretty rare. It's a random drop for mimics, alright? At least I don't know any mimics that has, like, a set drop that he will drop it for. And for sure. So, my guess is it's, it's a random drop, because. Yeah, like I said, I don't get it every time, so it's, it's a random drop. And right here, you want to take out this Silver Knight right here. When you pass through that area, he's going to be shooting like giant-ass arrows at you. But when you get close, you'll fall on his sword. And you can block everything he does. It just takes away a lot of stamina if you do. If you do block his arrow, you're going to end up sliding backwards a lot, so yeah. And uh, I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was checking if I got the Hornet Ring, which I don't. What the Hornet Ring does is it's, it gives you a lot of critical boost. So when you backstab an enemy, it's going to hurt more than usual. Usual backstab, right? And if you parry someone, you'll do more damage than what you usually do to an enemy. So I was checking that. And the way to get that is after you defeat Sif, right? And there's a guy behind this wall right here. I was trying to cheese it, but I ended up getting hit. <laughs> yeah, freaking swung his sword at me. I ended up taking a damage for it. Yeah, but sometimes he won't, you know. Sometimes well, after you hit him, he will just try to open the door. Well, he will open the door, not try. He will. This guy will open the door and try to come after your ass. And he's just a basic silver knight. You can just backstab this guy or parry him. His moves is fairly simple to read they're not that tough unless you're finding them like in a tight area because you can't really get around them if they are in a tight area yeah so <laughs> at this point I got sick of trying to back down I'm like you know what just screw it screw this guy just gonna parry this guy freaking guy won't let me parry I mean backstab him now going up here there's two more silver knight guys if you don't move too much to the right, the guy on the right will not be triggered, right? But the guy on the right, it's a, it's an arrow guy, so if you do trigger him, he's probably gonna, well, not probably, <laughs> he will be blasting arrows at you, and it'll make this fight during this fight, along with this silver knight, a bit harder because he's gonna be blasting arrows at you, and while well, you're trying to like, I don't know, do something with this guy, the arrow might hit you, and it'll do. A good amount of damage so it's kind of risky so I don't I recommend you guys don't move too much to the right right here is Sigmire of Katarina the onion guy freaking armor looks like onion whatever can be done, whatever can be done. Yeah, he's talking about like the Silver Knights uh, in the room across from him, alright? There is a total of three Silver Knights. Two are going to be on the far side and one is going to be towards your right. Right when you open the door, it's going to try and take you by surprise. But however, you can hit him through the wall. It's kind of a risky move because there's a chance he might hit back. <laughs> so, I don't know. And this guy is coming up with, trying to come up with a plan, but he says, Yo, like, why don't two of us go and take him out? But this guy will not do that, so I don't know. I, if you guys are trying to wait for the way he, whatever his plan is, it's, it's not gonna work. The guy is to the right. Hit him like that, you know, but somehow he'll hit you back. 
Now that's why I was kind of dumb because I was. I thought this guy would open the door, but he wouldn't. It was kind of a surprise. I was like, "Are you? Is this guy gonna open the door or what?" But he ended up just like walking on the door the whole freaking time. So I can just cheese him, you know. But if he does end up opening the door, you can try to backstab him. Make sure he doesn't kill Sigmire though, because he can take damage if the Silver Knights do end up hitting him. So you want to be careful of that. Right here, I'm just cheesing this overnight. Yeah, I'm, the whole the whole time when I'm cheesing him, I was really expecting him to open the door, but he doesn't open the door. I mean, it's it's pretty foolish. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> he's trying to walk through doors now. What's going on with you, Silver Knights, these days? Doesn't matter. I just poke him to death. Alright, now there's two Silver Knights. Once over there, you're gonna wanna cheese him. You wanna use an arrow and pull him over because if you try to go over there, the other one's gonna get triggered and it's gonna be a two on one. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, two on one ain't gonna be fun. Getting Silver Knights, and see, he, he does hit Sigmire, and Sigmire does take damage, so be careful. So, yeah, if you. If you're not careful, you probably kill Sigmire too, so you want to be really careful. <laughs> not let Sigmire die. This guy is like not letting me get behind him, so I guess I'm just going to have to parry him. Alright, bring it on. That's right. Down you go. And cops up 1,000 so. Alright, now for the final Silver Knight. We don't have to worry about this room anymore. We can use this room to our advantage. Because it's big. So it's easier to circle around him and try to pull off a backstab. Yeah, just waiting for him to do an attack, trying to get behind him. His shield bash takes away like a lot of stamina. Now right here I'm getting a bit nervous. I'm like, uh oh, if he hits me one more time, I might die. I'm being really careful here. Trying to, still trying to spin around him, but it's not working. And I think, uh, yeah, at this point, I just gave them like, oh boy, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna parry your ass since you're not gonna let me, let me get behind you. And right here, there's uh, there's two demon titan knights. That's good because we can use that to upgrade our boss weapon when we get it. I believe we're gonna get it to plus four after we take out the titan knight demon, because I think he gives up two titan knight demon shards too. So, I mean, demon titan knight shards. Those yeah, I, I was getting confused by the name because the name and the item that it gives up, it's pretty much the same thing. They just flipped it around. It's the Demon Titan Knight and the Titan Knight Demon, right? Yeah, they just flipped it around. So, and the tiny, the tiny ring thing that you guys can get from the start, you can get from this guy, right? He'll give it to you after you help him clear the room, but you gotta make sure to talk to him again. Alright, and after you talk to him again, he's gonna appear in Firelink Shrine when you come back. Well, when you go back to Firelink Shrine, he's gonna be there. And after that, he'll be at the Bed of Chaos. After you talk to him there, he's gonna be in the Ash Lake Lane there. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this little part. Next area, it's we gotta go up to the roof where the other Silver Knight was. And the one that was... That I said to be be careful or else he'll blast arrows at you. It's this one. We gotta get past this guy. And we can get access to the Titanite Demon. And we can get access to a shortcut that will lead to the first bonfire. Well, not the first bonfire. But the bonfire that's in this castle, alright? So, that's gonna help us out a lot. And yeah, I can't believe he blocked my attack with his bow at it. It's just it's just pretty pretty ridiculous. Yeah this episode is kinda long. It's it's an hour long. Yeah. It's an alarm though, what do you expect? <laughs> this place is huge. Filled with dangerous enemies. Easy like this is the one of the easiest places to die. Trying to get into the castle, that's hard enough because you gotta get through the, 
the guys with bow, you know, the great bow. You guys don't get through the guys with great bow. You try to block, or if you do take damage on the way crossing the bridge, it's gonna freaking send you flying with the great bows. Now this part was kind of a bitch, cause <laughs> it's a guy with a spear, and I don't know for me. For me, when I parry guys with spear, it's it's more harder to parry guys with spear than guys with shield. Uh, I don't know, but I see people like parrying guys with spears easier than guys parrying with uh, guys parrying other people that uses like swords. Cause I remember like in PVP on Dark Souls 2 beta, you can do PVP there, and then I had like a spear. I don't know how that happened. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna poke this guy to death, and the guy ended up pairing me. Yeah, they kind of changed up the pairing there. It looks more unique, but then I feel like there's more step to it because it's not a parry and reposting anymore. It's kind of like that, but when you parry someone, they they fall on their ass, and I can't. I don't know how to initiate the the repulse. You know, like once they sit on their ass. I try to walk forward and just attack them, but it just ended up doing a regular attack. So I don't know if they changed it, something like that. You know, maybe you gotta do a jump attack or something. I'm not sure, but they changed it up, and the regular, the regular parry and do a regular attack thing does not work. Maybe I did it wrong, or I don't know what's the story, but it doesn't work for me. So I was kind of confused. Uh, I tried to look it up. I tried to look what happened. Like I was looking at the forms and stuff, and I couldn't find anything on it. So maybe I was doing it wrong, or <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So so far we have two. Uh, we have five demon titanites, and we need total of seven to get to plus four. Because first upgrade to plus two, you need one. Plus three, you need one. Plus four, you need two. Wait, actually. I'm confusing myself. <laughs> and that'll be four. Or wait, I don't know. I can't remember if it's plus two or plus three. Yeah, I got confused. I'm mixing it up with the um, with the plus fifteen weapons because there's one point at the the plus fifteen route. It takes it takes four shards to get to plus fourteen. So I I can't really remember. Well, we'll see at the end of the video. Because I, I do run around like a fool, but I ended up cutting out parts of it, so you guys won't be bored. Because I had to make my journey back to Sense Fortress, and from Sense Fortress, I had to make my way back to Andre's and then get back to Sense Fortress. Well, not really, because I didn't rest in any bonfire, so I can just use a homeward bone and come back. Yeah. Now, what I re recommend you guys do right now is go back to the bonfire, right? Don't proceed on to this room right here. I ended up cutting it out. Yeah, because I ended up freaking dying here. I found that out the hard way that lightning does not work against a lightning monster. So, don't fight the guy until you got the boss weapon, alright? So, right now, we're going to be going through the blacksmith, the path to the blacksmith. So, we can upgrade our weapon to the boss weapon, which is Quailag's Fury, Fury Sword. I'm getting tongue twisted. Yeah, Quailag's Fury Sword. Um, you need a plus 10 curved weapon. And through that broken window, there's that great, great bow that the Silver Knights use. So, in case if you guys want that, that's where you get it. But, yeah, as I was saying. You need a plus 10, plus 10 curved sword to get a Quailag Fury Sword, right? And you also need Quailag's soul. If you spend her soul, then you cannot get this weapon. So make sure you didn't sip it. You didn't spend her soul, alright? Now, I fast forward back to Andre because I fucked up. I did not reinforce my falchion to the next level. You gotta get. You gotta get back to Andre to get to plus six, right? From plus five to plus six, you gotta get back to Andre for that. And you gotta also have to give him the large ember from the depths, right? And he'll take it and your weapon can be 
upgraded to plus 6. And after that, you can upgrade it yourself on the bonfire to plus 10. And after doing that, when it's plus 10, you can take it to come back here with the giant blacksmith. And you can upgrade your curved sword. Whatever curved sword is fine. It doesn't have to be a fountain. Any curved sword is fine as long as plus 10 and as long as you have a uh, koi like soul and some some souls on you so you can pay them to upgrade and right here I'm just like using some items so I can upgrade the koi like fury sword a bit more yeah as you guys can see right here now you don't have to do it here but I'm just doing it here you can you can also do it back in the bonfire oh so seems like the second upgrade it's already three three Titanite shards. I mean, demon Titanite shards. So we're short one more to get to plus four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna equip the sword. It's plus three at the moment. We're gonna equip the sword, head back to the Titanite demon, all right, and take out the Titanite demon, and then come back to the giant blacksmith and upgrade the sword to even better status and make sure you guys kill the silver knights before coming here or else they're gonna chase your ass and this will end up happening to you <laughs> yeah they're gonna end up blocking the path for you and you're gonna have to take them out either way unless you guys want to go down go down swing around come back up the stairs <laughs> I mean it's kind of a pain and I just wasted my Estus mask no problem Chuck one more Estus. And for the boss fight in this area, I recommend you guys summon Soul Lair for this. His sign will be here, so don't worry about it. But you gotta make sure you're in human form in order for that to trigger, alright? Now, heading back down, there's still gonna be one more Silver Knight because I ran right past him. Uh, he's gonna be right there. Come here, Silver Knight. Come here, I'm gonna talk to you. Carry your ass into your crotch. The fiery sword into your crotch. Alright, now after taking them out, head on over to the Tight Knight Demon. This room is kind of tight, so you want to be careful of him. Uh, try and get around him. Do two to three hits. Two, three, or four, I don't know. Make sure you do... I, I would recommend three if he's not going crazy. One, two, three, and roll. Alright, I didn't roll there. <laughs> yeah. So something like that might happen if you guys don't roll away. Either he'll like sit on you and you'll take some damage. Or he's gonna slam down his staff and you're gonna take massive damage. So I will recommend you guys roll away after three hits. Don't get too greedy. As you guys can see, I get fucked up over here. Like these Anno Londo guys. I'm trying to recover my souls. Alright. He'll up a bit. This guy's gonna shoot lightning. If you're, if you're a bit far, he's gonna shoot lightning or he's gonna do his staff swing. He has a long range staff attack and a close range one. So be careful of that. One, two, three. Alright. Is he gonna now roll back? Alright, just take your time with this. Don't be greedy. I was being greedy the last time. That's why I got my, got my ass whooped. Alright, one, two, three. Now be careful. Back up. Alright, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. One, two, three, and be careful of his attack. Yeah, that attack is gonna hurt if it lands. All right, so you wanna, you wanna be really careful. One, two, three, and get ready for his attack. Sometimes he won't do an attack. Sometimes he'll just jump back. So it's not a uh, hundred percent he's gonna do his attack, but you just wanna roll back just to be safe, all right? Because if you don't, <laughs> if he does do his attack, you're gonna. You're gonna take a lot of damage, and if you manage to pull off an attack there, then you're gonna want to like get a couple of hits in, because sometimes he'll do an attack while you're behind him. He'll do a front attack while you're behind him. It's kind of weird, but most of the time he'll just jump. Yeah, sometimes he'll just do this attack. It's really stupid. And he's almost dead. We're just gonna finish up this little battle here and grab his Titanite and further upgrade our weapon all right chuck up a couple of Estus mask now before 
before you guys go to the boss I will recommend you guys revert back to human take out the two silver knights that are gonna be chasing after you after taking out the two silver knights go on and take on a, take out the silver knights one of the silver knight that's gonna be on the stair on this side of the stair right he's gonna be down there if you run straight there's a silver knight there take him out first and then go go near the the big gate and take on the one of those tower guard dudes whatever they're called take him out and then take on the other one because it'll be it'll make your life a lot easier yeah and then after you take them all out but make sure you're in human form because after you take them all out you can summon solar but you could summon solar without having to kill them but solar will sometimes be caught back trying to fight them or he'll take some damage from them because they'll attack him if you just rush to the boss after summoning him but there is the plus four Quailag sword and I kind of made a mistake here I forgot to revert back to human before doing this the reason why we gotta fight well we don't have to but the reason we're fighting Oristine and Smog in human form is we can get solar and the thing about these bosses is they both of them come at you at once and you can take them out but it'll be a bit harder if you guys want to get through a game get through the game uh, without having to like I don't know break your controller or something then I would recommend you guys revert back to human take out the the two guards and the silver knight that has the arrow the bow this guy right here and summon solar and then enter right so solar can be at his max HP if you don't like I said either he'll stay back here for a bit fighting to fight these guys or he's gonna end up taking some damage from these guys and he won't be as effective in the boss because um, if, he, if he loses more health here when you get back to the boss when you get to the boss not get back to the boss when you get to the boss he's not gonna have much HP left so when the boss hits him a few times he might die so it's, if he does die it's gonna end up like a 2v1 again so you wanna keep him at full health if you can and right there you just wanna run stick to the wall and trigger this guy don't trigger the other one trigger the this guy and take him out right I fucked up here that's why I have to redo it later but yeah make sure you revert back to human before doing this okay after you get your sword revert back to human and then do this alright so you guys won't have to like sacrifice solar's HP or if you guys don't care about solar and you guys can tank the boss by yourself then just go ahead you know you don't have to revert back to human you can just run towards the boss gate and you can just get in without having to worry about this but if you guys do want to make the fight easier or if you guys are having trouble fighting them then I will recommend you do this alright do this tactic right here I kinda fucked up here but yeah I, I will have to do it later but I won't show it though I'll cut it up it's pretty much the same thing except I'll be in human form in this game it's this gate it's totally optional. If you guys want 10 essence flask without having to kindle the bonfire that's in the castle, then you can run back out there to where the firekeeper is at and you can get free free refill to plus I mean to 10 essence flask, alright. That's if you guys want free essence flasks. Alright, just finishing up the job here, taking out this last guy. Make sure you take out the, the archer first, or else that guy will be blasting arrows and you all try to take these guys out. Alright, so that's pretty much it for now, and I will hope this video has helped you guys out, and I'll catch you guys next time when we take on Orstein and Smog. Alright, Holmes, out.